أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم um, this, um, this video I don't remember what number video it is but this video on page with page um, 21 we we already did the uh, practice the reading practice for the previous lesson this lesson lesson 19 Alif Maksura Alif Maksura is what is known as Alif Bisura Tilya, Alif in the form of Ya. That is this letter here, this Ya that has no dots. Alif Maksura will always come at the end of a word. If Alif is going to come in the middle or the beginning of a word anywhere, it is going to be the regular vertical Alif like this one here, which is Alif Mamduda. Okay, so if Alif Maksura actually lengthens and it will only come after a long vowel whether it's fata kesra dhamma but a long vowel and it is just going to just lengthen that vowel a little bit more so this is ein fata a la madha fata la alif maksura attached to it a la e la a wa right the alif maksura here is not joined because wow cannot be joined and it's Tail. It could only be joined on the front, but it's not joined here also because Aleph cannot be joined on the tail. See, so the three separate letters here. Awa, Fahada, Agna, Yahya, Tardo, Mi Ata Wa Ana, Minal Ula, Radu, Amanu. Maliko Sorry. Malkori It's difficult to see from the side sometimes. Okay, um this is Bill Goy B. Malkori Atu Bill Goy B. Okay. Page twenty two. Um this is reading practice continuing here. This this um this sign up here is mad alazim so we're actually in being introduced to some of the mad alazim without the lesson as yet the lesson will come in a little bit inshallah but it says ula ika ha ula i fang sab wan har ana basharun to one who done solatan this solatan sword fata so lam mada fata la this wow is a silent wow it is in the sola and it is in zaka the silent wow okay solatan zakatan so the wow is not vocalized is not used uh, mok sadatan this this ham this sukun on top of the hamza gives a semi joking sound they already introduced it here but the lesson is next okay mok sadatun shak nun yak murukum yuk min tuthiruna takuluna yuk tau na this lesson, lesson 20, is actually is the semi-joking sound, which is the sukun on top of Hamza. Remember, if, if whether it is the Hamza like this or whether it is the Aleph like this, because when Aleph is vocalized, it becomes um, Hamza. The Aleph with sukun, although it's no vowel, sukun causes the Aleph to be vocalized. Okay? So in this case, it will not be, the Aleph will not be lengthening this fatah here to ma, it will be ma, see, because of the sukun sign. If it didn't have the sukun sign, it will lengthen the fatah, but because the sukun sign is there, it is not lengthening it, and this becomes hamza. So here is going to be yak tikum wa mur ta ti him ma wa hum ka san. Ya ba na ti karakta ba sing ma kulin. See, this reading here is fa kuzuhu wa ma naha kum anhu fang tahu 
وإذ قال إبراهيم لأبيه آذرا. Okay. Um, okay. I don't think we have more time to do um, the the other lesson. So we probably will just stop at this here. Try to do as much reading practice as possible. And uh, remember, the semi-joking sign is when you have sukun on top of hamza or alif. Right? And this sign up here, mad alazim that you will come to shortly, inshallah, in a couple of pages or so, is just lengthening the long vowel, the mad dafata, is lengthening it to um, to five to six counts, harakat. And this is like in Alif Lam Mim, in Surah Baqarah, the beginning, you have Alif Lam Mim. In Surah Fatiha, the ending, Dolin. This is what is the alert to produce those sounds. Jazakumullah, Kaisam Alikum.